I um, get involved with people when they have snoring and sleep apnea who may be candidates for surgical intervention. Most oftentimes it's something simple like large tonsils or a deviated septum that's causing their nose to be obstructed. And then there are more specific surgeries for snoring and sleep apnea as well. Problems in the, the head and neck region uh, reflect very much so on people's sense of identity. They often are very troubling to people. It's sort of a unique field. I mean, we sort of take care of everything in a specific region. The medical problems, the surgical problems, so you have an opportunity to practice both of those. You get a little of everything in this area, so it has been a good fit. I enjoy practicing uh, ear, nose, and throat.